This is more like you with my phone, Quentin. Let's get started. <coughs> <coughs> Let's get started with the Joy 2 on Verizon, which just works by its dead. And it's missing the back cover, so I can't take this in. Next is the Samsung Galaxy A11 on this mobile. This one doesn't do anything on a charger. Let me come around here to do it. <coughs> Here's my Samsung Galaxy 7 on Sprint. This one works. Here is my iPhone 6 on Verizon. Come on. I gotta press the power button really hard on this thing. There we go. Here's my Motorola Droid Razor M on Verizon. Don't have a screwdriver, but it works. Here's an iPhone 6. Is iCloud blocked. <laughs> I have two Samsung Galaxy X4s. The left side is on Cricut and the right side is on AT&T. This one is Cricut and with Verizon. And this one is the only one with batteries in it. This one here is dead and this one doesn't have a battery in it. <coughs> Here's an iPhone 6, also iCloud blocked. <coughs> Here's a Samsung Galaxy S2 on Sprint. I think it's the same as the S7. <coughs> this one's dead. Nope. Just takes a while to turn on. <coughs> I have two Motorola Droid X's or X2's on Verizon. They both look fine, but one has a battery. <coughs> I think this one's dead. Nope. <coughs> <coughs> Here's an LG Artemis S on Splint. Works totally fine, and I also have the Artemis V. <coughs> <coughs> Here's a Samsung MA50 on Splint. Works totally fine, but it's dead. Here's a CTE NA50 hotspot, I believe. This one is already turned on. <coughs> Mo now we're moving on to dumb phones. As you can see, <coughs> I have many of them here. Here's a Samsung R270 on US cellular. This looks fine. Here's a Blackberry Curve A530. This works better. Here's an OG Shine on AT&T. It does work. It's dead. Samsung. No, LG UN430 on your cellular. This works but it's dead. And it, I have to take the battery out because it's starting to bulge. See here, here. <coughs> Here's one of my two LG Cosmos on Verizon. This looks perfectly fine. <coughs> Here's an LG Voyager on Verizon. This works but it's dead. Here's an LG Ice on AT&T. <coughs> I have two LG UX280s and they're on US Cellular. They both work. And this one is the only one with battery, which will be this one. I gotta shut this one off so it doesn't make any noise here. <coughs> Here's my Pantex Splash on AT&T. This is untested. <coughs> <coughs> Here's a Samsung U540 on Verizon, also untested. Here's an LG Rimmer Touch on Sprint, also untested. Here's a Samsung Galaxy Zoo Animals on your cellular. This looks fine, but I can't take out the back covers and put the battery this one here. <coughs> this is a Sanyo R4920, is that right? Let me check. Yep, that's the RL4920 on Splint. This works, but it's dead. Here's a Pantech. I forgot what's the name of it. <coughs> it's a P7010 on AT&T. This one's dead. <coughs> it's a Samsung SCH3500 on Splint. This one is also dead. <coughs> Here's an Alcatel Big Easy. This looks fine and has speakers to listen to it. 
I love this cool. Oh, by well. Yeah, this powering off. Here's an LG limit on spin. This one boom, is untested. <coughs> Here's a Pantech P. No, it's a Pusu 2 on AT&T. Works totally fine. Here's a Samsung A777 on AT&T. This one works. <coughs> Here is my Motorola W175 on track phone. Works totally fine. There we go. Here's a Samsung Convoy 3 on Verizon. This does not work. This one got a little battery for that one. Here's my Motorola No Sanyo STP4700 on spin. This one works. It's dead. Actually, I'm gonna shut this one off here. <coughs> okay, here's the most really a Sanyo phone, a Sanyo SCP 2400 on spin, or the M3 uh, or the MME 300. This one. Does not have a battery in it, but it does work. <coughs> Here's my model arrival on Verizon. Works, but it's dead. <coughs> Here's my model or MPX220 on Singular. This works fine, but it doesn't work. Here's the most LG phone and LG data on Verizon. This works totally fine. And it's a back sticky enough here. I have two Visa Kitty Girls. Here's an OG MV Touch on Verizon. This works perfectly fine. Motorola Razor V3T on T Mobile. Doesn't work. And here's a Sanyo Samsung, let me see. SPHM 400 on Swin. Got that battery here. And it doesn't have a battery in it. <coughs> here's an LG 800G on track phone. This works fine. This is well, so it's like the Artemis S2 here. That one here. Here's a Kyocera KX9 on Cricket. This one, don't know what it is, but it's untested. You see Casio G's one border on Verizon. Works, but the batteries don't want it works. So I cannot show you the phone working. Here's a Sam Samsung U320 on Verizon. This works fine, but I don't think it doesn't have battery in it. Yes, it does. Here's an LG LX125, don't know what carrier this is on, but it works fine, even though I had to hold it up vertical. Here, there's the LX125, and I'm gonna hold it up vertical. See, turn this one off here. I'll shut this one here so you can see it shut off. If a Pantic P740 P on AT&T got squirrely on it's dead. And it doesn't have a SIM card. Here's a Motorola V265. This one, I think it's on Verizon and it doesn't have a back cover. Here's a Samsung FPH M300 husband. This looks fine but it doesn't have a battery in it. Here's a Motorola V60T on AT&T. This works fine, but but doesn't have battery in it, but it does work. And here's a last Motorola V60T. This is with Singular, and it has a bad OCD. Unfortunately, the ba battery doesn't keep the back cover. That's the phone question. I'll see you for the next one.